is Fadila. I, I'm Moroccan. I've been living in the UK for 20 years, and uh, art is a big part of my life. And I've tried a lot of different medias and techniques, and recently um, discovered oil painting. Uh, it's, uh, I love it very much, and I'm uh, practicing to become a portrait artist. Ideal uh, dream for me is to be able to travel back to Morocco and go to the Sahara Desert to paint my uncle Hassan. So this film is about my journey to Zagora. First stop is Marrakesh to visit my parents. It's so nice to be home again. Morocco is noisy and dusty, busy and hot, but I still love it. My brother Nasser wants me to cut his hair straight away, so we do it all upstairs on the terrace. I think Abdslam is going to be next. My brother is preparing his astronomy lesson for children. He has a company called Astro Tours based here in Marrakesh. Qui gravite autour de ces quatre planètes. Oui. Et après, oui. vient Jupiter, oui. Saturne oui. avec ses anneaux, oui. Uranus et Neptune. Voilà. Et ils gravitent tous autour du Soleil. Oui. Sauf oui. Euh, Neptune qui gravite en sens inverse et rétrograde. Ah oui I have heard from my dad that my cousins are playing in a concert in Casablanca tonight, so I'm going to see them as I love Andalusian music. My parents are traveling to Fez, so we are sharing part of the journey. Train is a good way to travel in Morocco. It's cheap, efficient and comfortable. I love it. It gives me a chance to gaze at the landscapes and dream about the past and the future. I spent more than 20 years living in the UK raising my two daughters. I miss my parents. So it's so nice to spend quality time with them. Morocco is amazing. It's got so much variety in the landscapes. And as we go uh, towards Casablanca, it will be greener, more fertile and more populated. This concert tonight will be emotional for me because the Andalusian music will remind me of growing up in Fez. 
It's organized by Huwat al Musiqa al Andalusia, which means Association for Andalusian Music Lovers. satisfied and inspired with the music last night. Now I'm on my way back to Marrakesh. Marrakesh is well known for its many palm trees, which are all owned and protected by the King Mohammed VI. It's an offense to cut them down, and many houses in Marrakesh have got palm trees right in the middle of their courtyard. I think I may go straight to the old Medina to get some bits I might need for my trip. The Medina is an amazing place. It's colorful and noisy, full of smells and people, where you can find anything you need, from spices to traditional perfumes, herbs and olives, clothes and carpets, and many more beautiful handcrafted items, from wood, copper, leather and silk, and of course the famous argan oil. It's a place where haggling is a must, a maze full of surprises on every corner. The next morning I'm heading off to Zagora. It's an eight-hour bus journey through the Atlas Mountains. The road is not always open in winter because of a snowfall. I checked with my uncle and he told me it's only been open for a few days. He 
It's said that the first inhabitants of Morocco, who are Berbers, have been living here for more than 8,000 years. We leave the Atlas Mountains behind, and soon I will be with my uncle Hassan. First, a trip to the souk, which is the local market, to look around and get some food for tonight. Hassan collects old cameras, so he's always on the hunt for one. So I've decided to go and have a look around myself. This guy is selling remedies for all kind of things. My uncle is a local doctor. I don't know what he thinks about all this. Mm. Ostrich marrow for rubbing on aching joints. And now, how about those vegetables? The local produce is full of flavor and there's plenty of it. And you can buy it fresh and directly from the people who grow it. Mmm, I love olives. And in Morocco, I'm always spoiled for choice. It's so hot, I had to wear a turban to protect my head from the sun. Every evening, my uncle plays pool. He's a member of Club Oasis de Gura du Petang, who competes on a national level. He's one of the founders of the club. It's so relaxing sitting here watching the game with my uncle. Next morning, I joined the Berbers on a trip to the desert. Equipped with my paint brushes, I'm hoping to paint a landscape. Dawood is our guide. He's going to look after us while we are in the desert. <laughs> a quick snack before we leave habitation behind. It seems so far away from my busy life in London. to our camp for the night, so I've got to get a move on if I'm going to complete a painting. Unfortunately, the light is fading fast. But still, it was a good study in colour. Dawood cooks a lovely lentil and garlic soup. Mmm, delicious. And a wonderful vegetable tagine with lemons, garlic, olives and coriander. The best tagine I've ever tasted.
Ich glaube, das ist getting up for a dance. Next morning we are up early for our return journey to Zagora. Dawood prepares our camel boo boo. Thanks, boo boo. You helped us carry everything we needed for this trip. I feel truly energized and motivated by this trip to the desert. This place is so peaceful and beautiful and the Berbers have been warm and wonderful. Now I feel ready to paint my uncle Hassan. This is Jnan Dar where we will be doing our painting. Hassan is insisting to put as much oxygen as possible in the tea. But I'm thirsty, I just want to drink it. By the way, people do pour tea in this way in Morocco. Drinking mint tea is such a big part of the culture. It's always a good idea to talk with your subjects before you paint them. It's a perfect location. I'm under a Berber tent for shade and the light is just right. My uncle is the first doctor in the Zagora province to organize two medical associations for diabetes and kidney failure. They both rely on financial support from around the world. It's challenging painting from real life, but it's very exciting. I'm really enjoying the process.
Mr. Sadiq is one of the owners of the site. He came to watch the progress. Morocco is a hugely exciting and stimulating place where art and creativity can flourish, not only because of the light and varied landscapes, but also because of its people. Their colorful clothes and personalities never cease to charm and amaze me. I had three hours to complete the painting, so I'm quite happy with the result. I'm looking forward to doing many more paintings in Morocco. Just one thing before sunset, Hassan wants to show me a newly arrived sand dune. Bye for now, until next time. Thank you.